Welcome back, guys. As we have seen the last video, we have uh, we have drawn a arc here. Now, what next we want is we just have to move this arc now. Now, to move this arc, we have to create multiple arcs, right? So, when you have multiple arcs which are drawn in a particular interval, you will see a motion. To to draw a multiple arcs, what we'll do is we'll we'll take a for loop, and this for loop will have a variable i, and this i will start with a uh, zero uh, and then it will go till we'll say it will go till 50 and i plus plus and then here now when I, when I when i run this code you will see some some moment and unfortunately what you will get is oh i made a mistake i made a mistake Okay, now to, to move this thing, what we have to do is we have to increase the starting angle and you have to increase the ending ending angle, right? So what if I say 0 plus i and 90 plus i, it will do some, it will just move my arc from uh, starting angle from 0 to 90 to till 50 more points. Now when I run this code, Okay, something is extra, right? You can see some 50 pixels are extra. But the problem is we have not, uh, we are not able to see the motion. It's because it's damn fast. We, it's, we just, uh, you cannot, as a, as a human eye, you cannot detect uh, the, the motion. So what we do is we have to specify some delays. What we can do is we can specify a delay here. We'll say a delay of 50 milliseconds. And since we are working with delay function, we have to import one more, we have to include one more header file, which is DOS dot H. Now, if I run this code. Okay, see, so you can see something is happening there. Something is moving. But what I want, if my arc is of 90 degrees, it should move. The ending part should also be 90 degrees, right? It should not be... Uh, 90 plus 50 which is 140 so the starting was 90 the ending was 140 that means whenever you draw a arc we have to clear it we have to clear it what it means before drawing anything we just have to clear the previous screen and for that you have to use a function called as clear clear de clear device now what this clear device will do is it will clear the screen and you can see some arc And now you can see your arc is moving. There is some, some motion is there. But since we are working on spiral, we don't want this clear device. Because in spiral, we want the whole arc to be drawn. And the draw, the draw should not be a 50. It should be more than uh, maybe 1000. But the problem is, what if I want to stop it in middle? For that, what I will say is, I will check for one more condition. Either the, num the maximum I should go till 1000 or until when I hit a keyboard. So once I hit a keyboard, you have to come out. And that's why I have to say not KB, KB hit, which means KB hit is keyboard hit. So if I say not, it will run until I hit a keyboard. Okay, now if I run this code now, you can see. And just let me just reduce this uh, delay so that you can see animation in very fast way. And more 10,000. If I run this code now, You can see this spiral is going. You can see the spiral is going. But, oh, it has drawn the circle. What we wanted is, we wanted to go for the uh, spiral. That means, after every draw of arc, I need to increase the uh, radius. What if I say, uh, we have to, let's go for radius as 50. Or what we can say is, if, what if we can move, make my radius as variable i. That means after every draw, the radius will increase. Now if I run this code, uh oh, it's weird. It's weird. Now you can see something. We have, we have an arc which is drawn very big. It's because the radius size is damn big. What we have to reduce it. What we can say is, what if I say divide by ten? If I say radius divide by ten, it will draw some small radius. Okay, still going good, still going good. We are getting an arc which is 
divided by 10. Yeah, still, yeah, so you can see we have a spiral here. Now, what if you want to get some colors? If you, if you want to implement some colors here, what we do is we have to add some color styles. You have to set the color. And for that, uh, that, will, that part will do in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do subscribe for the further videos.